Well, I didn't know where I was gonna go. I was actually gonna go to probably a Juco. Um, and then I, it was kind of coming to the point where I had to decide um, about in a week or two was the early signing period. And I just kind of prayed about it. And I was like, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know where you want me to go. I don't know what's next. And then it just so happened that the next day, Coach Hobson gave me a phone call and said, hey, we would like you to come visit. And so my dad and I came actually that weekend and we really enjoyed it. And we really liked it. And Coach Hobson's personality is a lot like my dad's. <laughs> so when I came here, it kind of felt like home, kind of felt like family. Um, all the girls were really great. And it was just felt right. Um, probably games. Um, the Emporia State game last year at home. I think that was last year. Yeah, when we came back after um, we were down a lot, it was tied at halftime, and then we came back and won. That was probably the most memorable game, and that was the most fun. I still had teachers talk to me the next week <laughs> saying, "Oh, I can't believe that happened. That was the most fun game I've ever watched." And so I think that was one of the most memorable moments. So coming to a Division II school, um, size was a big difference for me. Um, I could usually just get to the basket whenever I wanted, um, take it from anybody I wanted to. And then I think just adjusting to that and then the speed, learning that everybody is just as fast as you are, if not faster. Um, defense this was a hard adjustment for me, keeping people in front of me. Um, but just working hard every day when you didn't have to or bringing it every game, especially in our conference. If you don't bring it, you're going to lose. Um, just changing that type of mindset and you have to get better every day or you'll fall behind, I think was a major difference. Um, it's really awesome. Uh, we're all really close. We hang out together all the time. I mean, we practice every day together, go on road trips together. Um, Let's roll it. It just seems that we get a little weirder as we continue to win, which is really, really crazy because sometimes you look at them. Now that I'm on the bench, I look at them and I go, are they really are they really ready to play? And then, you know, they go out and they beat Pitt State by 30 without missing hardly two shots. So I think it's just fun to watch them to continue to grow and continue to win. And they work hard every single day, even though they like to joke around a lot. <laughs> playing together for four years and not the exactly the ending going out like you perhaps wanted but you're still there and still a part of that team what has it been like to be able to go out with her as your other senior um sorry uh it's kind of hard to watch but um I'm glad that she still gets to play, and in a way, she kind of plays for me. So I think that gives her a little more of a motivator. Um, I'm happy that I can still be around, obviously. Um, I can just whisper in her ear whenever she needs me, if she does need me. Um, keep her sane a little bit, because she gets a little crazy. But I think just being able to go through these four years and that entire process with somebody is really special. Um, it creates a huge bond. I'm sure we'll miss each other a lot next year. Um, we've kind of reversed roles in the last few weeks. I usually take care of her, you know, watch her, keep her in line, and now it's kind of the other way around. She has to take care of me, make sure I'm doing okay, and all that stuff. So I think it's good for us, and it's been it's been a fun four years, for sure. All of the great comeback games that we've had probably would be what people would remember most and what I would remember most, because those were the most fun. Um, Obviously, we made a pretty good run last year, and it didn't end the way we wanted to, but we got a lot farther than we hoped, and so I think that's a great accomplishment. And then obviously being in my AA champions this year, it's really awesome. It's like having a second family, um, seeing the girls' faces every day when I get to go to practice, um, when we're on road trips. It's just awesome. <laughs> it's something that I'll miss for sure. Um, just the way that you grow with them and the way that you see them grow throughout the years and all the people leave and all the new people come in. We all just mesh together really well. And I think our program is really special in that way because I know not all teams get along like that. And so I think the girls are what make it the most fun and the most memorable and just the best.